So you're choosing a refrigerant. First off though, what is refrigerant? Basically, refrigerant is the gas or liquid that moves through an air conditioning system to provide the cooling. This is true in any type of air conditioning system, from a window unit to a whole house air conditioner, even the air conditioning in your car uses refrigerant. For residential systems, there are two types of refrigerants available on the market currently. First is R22 refrigerant, which has been the standard refrigerant for the last several decades, and the newer refrigerant R410A. The reason there's a new refrigerant is that R22 is being phased out because of the negative environmental impacts of that refrigerant when it's released inadvertently into the atmosphere. R410A does not have those same negative consequences when it's released, uh, so the industry has shifted to using that as the standard. But what are the key differences in those two types of refrigerant? First is, of course, that environmental impact I mentioned. Availability is another key difference in the two refrigerants. Over the next decade and a half, R22 will be phased out from use and become harder and harder to find. R410A, on the other hand, being the new standard, will be readily available. Price is another key difference in the two refrigerants. R22 systems are a little bit cheaper than R410A systems, mainly because R410A is the, is the newer refrigerant. Some other differences include the operating pressures of equipment. You have to use a different set of gauges when you're, when you're working with R410A than you did with R22 because there's, they want to make sure there's no interchange of that refrigerant in a specific system. So there's different valve sizes, mainly because of another difference in the two refrigerants, the oil that's used to lubricate those systems. R R22 uses a mineral oil, whereas R410A uses an ester oil. Because of those differences, you actually have to flush very thoroughly or re completely replace the line set that would be used in a split system air conditioning. Another difference is with the regulations. One of the benefits of R410A refrigerant is that homeowners who are not necessarily EPA certified can purchase and handle the new R410A refrigerant. You may be aware R22 cannot be purchased by the tank at your local heating and cooling store by your typical homeowner, whereas R410A legally can be. One thing that is not a difference between the two types of refrigerants is performance. Both systems will cool your home exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about sacrificing performance by going to the new refrigerant. So I want to spend a couple more moments talking about the regulations because there is a lot of confusion in the industry right now. First off, the phase out. R22 equipment will not be manufactured anymore after 2010. And at that point, R22 refrigerant will still be manufactured to service that equipment. When we get to 2020, the refrigerant itself will no longer be manufactured and it will only be available in recycled form. Now, the other aspect of the regulations that's key is, is who can handle it. So we've pulled some information from the EPA's website, specifically from their FAQ, where they talk about those regulations. The question here is, is Section 608 technician certification required in order to purchase R410A refrigerant? And the EPA's answer, HFC refrigerant substitutes that do not contain an ozone depleting substance, such as R410A, are not covered under the refrigerant sales restriction. Therefore, Section 608 technician certification is not required in order to purchase HFC refrigerant substitutes that do not contain those ozone depleting substances. It does remain illegal to knowingly vent HFC substitutes during the maintenance, service, repair, or disposal of appliances. Of course, you can see more information on that at the EPA's website at www.epa.gov and our website. We can also always give us a call. We'd be happy to help you any way we can.